People in Damascus clearly are getting more nervous as U.S. airstrikes loom and seem to be getting closer. We left the city early this morning because our visas weren't extended. And as we were going out, we saw that the border area was very full. There were cars with suitcases packed on top, whole families inside very small cars. So it really looks as though many people are trying to get out at this point. I wouldn't say that it was a mass exodus, but it certainly was a lot more people leaving than you would see on a normal day. Meanwhile, however, the Syrian government remains defiant. We saw the first pictures of Bashar al-Assad since these claims of chemical weapons use surfaced last Wednesday. Now, Assad was meeting with Yemeni, with a Yemeni delegation, and while he was doing that, he also said things about the ongoing situation. He said that if Syria was attacked, the country would retaliate. However, of course, many in the Syrian military and Syrian officials know that there's very little that the Syrian government could do. The reports that we are getting is that apparently there are some military institutions that are being evacuated, or at least the staff is being downsized, and also possibly some military hardware being moved to try and get it out of the way of airstrikes. So the mood in Damascus, one that is very, very nervous, even though people, of course, are not panicking at this stage of the game. Fred Plaitkin, CNN, Beirut.